convention center preparing to reopen for large events for the first time in 15 months. Fox has Jacqueline Sarkeesian joining us live with how local leaders plan to mark the occasion today. Jacqueline, good morning. Hey, good morning to both of you guys. Yes, so there's going to be a press conference outside of the convention center here in just a couple of hours from now. But you guys, this is huge news because the event industry brings in about $2.3 billion into the local San Diego economy. So with no events taking place at the convention center, it's just a huge loss for the city of San Diego. More than 150 events were canceled. But starting uh, Sunday, the first event of 30 events will be taking place. It's going to be happening from August through December. There will be 30 events that will be hosted inside of the convention center, among them new and old returning events like Comic-Con Special Edition. Now, all of these events must follow the guidance laid out by the State Department of Public Health. Now, because of the convention center, it has been closed for the last 15 months. It served as a homeless shelter for 11 months. This was in support of Operation Shelter to Home. It was also used as a place to house migrant children seeking asylum for nearly four months. And last November, it served as a polling location for the presidential election. So the first event returns on Sunday, August 1st. As for that press conference, San Diego Mayor Todd Gloria will be here in attendance along with a spokesperson for Comic-Con and the president and CEO of the convention center. And back to both of you in the studio. Okay, Jacqueline, thank you for that.